be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> Wait for it. Go! about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. Looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still, old habits die hard. Come check this out. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Wood. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Fun party, though. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it.
Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Come on, Max. Gotta focus on the here and now. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. Do gumballs have an expiration date? I'll pass. Is this seizing the means of production? Never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh, man. I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <gasps> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet but I'll know it when I see it. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon.
I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. <laughs> Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Pina on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What? You mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. I could never resist a deal. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Thanks, I value my ankles. bad. See, this is why you need an assistant, in case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? Um, any other options? Other? Yes. Better? Uh, I'll keep looking. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. The gnome smoking weed really pull the place together. I'm guessing that's the right room. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen.
Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Pretty sure I can get a good angle from up here. Wow, ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Ooh. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> That Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? <laughs> okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? She's 
she's just an old friend from when I was a kid. Must have been some friend if you still keep her picture in your wallet. Don't use your daytime TV shrink voice on me. New subject. No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? After high school, she was my road trip buddy. For a few years, anyway. But... But... I don't know. I guess everyone processes stuff differently. And eventually, she couldn't deal with how I process stuff. Bit of advice. If anyone offers to publish your memoir, hire a ghostwriter. You suck at this. Ugh. Can we please change the subject now? Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. Time to go be normal. <laughs> All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. I'm so Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Clearly someone else has taken the plunge. Ah, uh, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. Diamond, way to go. Gotta love.
of any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Well, that doesn't look right. Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. How does she make bartending look so easy? Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? This is for sure upside down. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Uh, lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school? Ugh. Cringe worthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> The soup future is in my hands. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. When in New England, do as the New Englanders do.
Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a ten coffee all nighter. Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. My bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Are you a campfire? Cause you're smoking hot and I want some more. Cringe. <laughs> Goofy as hell. Uh, perfect, you're on the board, Max. Yes. So you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. No, sorry, I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing?
I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur, but Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, cause I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I give for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. <laughs> Lakeport's most notorious party animals. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max.
well. One out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got income. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Moses, doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plan it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend.
Nice try, Max. Eat your heart out, Safi. Go back and fix things with a wave of my hand anymore. Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Sophie's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Sophie eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to hop. Dang, Sophie snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. All right, Sniper Max. Let's lock and load. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> the hell, Max? <laughs> Damn, I had plans for that bottle cap too. Bullshit! How did you see me? Get good, noob. <laughs> You're the worst. Not at hiding bottle caps, I'm not. Your title <laughs> is secure. <laughs> oh. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safia Lewellen Fayad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh... Would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them.
That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Everything I know Call the end And promise this is what you want What if I'm dreaming And please don't wake me up up with Sophie tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see. But I guess it's everything I Call the end I promise this is what you want.
like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie? Sophie? Hey. You okay?
Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Again. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was... enthusiastic. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. Shit. My place is a mess. 
Shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. to take care of downstairs. One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? Almost everyone I ever knew, gone, just like that, all because of me. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Oh, Joyce. We lost you in the storm. Chloe never really looked at me the same after she found out. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. 
band. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go bigger, go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago. And now... I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then? <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist-in-residence? Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice.
How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter bomb. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key, Abraxas virtue. 
The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. No, it, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> Kinda seems like the whole campus is.
I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right, catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. These damn things are all over campus, except where Safi actually needed one. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Way to be a combo breaker. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. It's fine, I guess, but what I really feel isn't meant for public consumption. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Really giving me expensive car dealership vibes. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. I'll do my best. Finn Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant anyway? Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but... Sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? <laughs> you think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. 
kahuna? <laughs> That's borderline adorable. Oh. Uh, listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? Depends on the day. Today I'm kinda... hugged out. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, hope you can forgive the crazy lady with no boundaries. No, you're sweet. I appreciate the gesture. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. This copy might be locked in the case. But it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. I hate to ask, but... That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock. But it needs more of a curve in it. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? This is definitely easier than breaking into the case.
Gwen? I, uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh... Well, it's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey, you need the one in the case? You got it. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? She was happy about something, but she wouldn't tell us what it was. Typical Safi. Yeah, God, that girl and her fucking secrets. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... 
Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy... and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. I should talk to Moses. 
He's waiting for me in the fab. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Moses is waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn and Fyatt. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye?
I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. Far be it from me to question the wisdom of our great thing. But why are we handing out roses? Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Sky Cat attacks. I don't even know where to start. I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days, have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there.
Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting, but words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. I paused to catch my breath. A receding shadow. Jeez, what a dick. Bird's nest. It peels back the bit. Max. Good to see you. I'm not sure Sophie would want you to give kids frostbite on her behalf. Sometimes it's easier to process grief as a community. Oh, is that what you're doing? You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? I can't really talk about it yet. Not like you. Would someone else like to speak? Great. Diamond, please. Come on up and share with us. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Nobody will acknowledge how terrifying this whole situation is. Let's hear if you need something. anything. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. question about Safi. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench. 
when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm gonna use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You wanna go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more if attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can be any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? figure it out.
Where is that other Moses going? to keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Where is that other Moses going? What are you doing out here? I'm not the one taking you. It's time for a cocoa. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating to teach you. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You're supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you're charging the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Will you give me a break? I haven't done this supernatural bullshit since high school. It's not like riding a bike. Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. gonna freeze to death.
I suffer for so long that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and I swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end, or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help.